What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in for another video. I really appreciate it. This is the Less Work channel. I'm just a regular guy trying to get some work. And thank you for coming by. Uh, today, we're going to be tuning in. Fresh and Fit Podcast kicks out two girls. So two Russian girls came on the show. And so let's react to it. All right. Let's say this. Let's say I have a million dollars. Okay? I have a million dollars myself. But I'm going to, you can't spend any of the money. Right? Okay. And I, I basically select everything I buy. Right? And uh, you're my friend, but you're responsible for that money. All right? Now I go and I, I blow all the money on Lamborghinis, hookers, cocaine, etc. And I come back and I yell at you. Yo, what the fuck? All my money's gone. This is bullshit. This is your fault. How'd you feel? I don't think that relates. Exactly. Stupid. Because I have zero. I have all the money, correct? I have all the money. I'm the one spending it, but then I'm coming to blaming you for my bad money. decisions. <laughs> I'm using an example. It's an example. So, so you, don't you know, like, wait, in relation yeah, to what? Because you know, you know, you're about to get cooked right now. Oh, okay. So, this is an Instagram model, I believe. You know what I mean? You could tell she's uh, she's an Instagram model because she's dressed like um, what's the name? Uh, Wilma from the Flintstones, or is it? No, uh, she looks like Betty, a little bit, little Betty from the Flintstones. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing: I have, I have 100 authority, right, over the money, but I'm making you responsible for how I spent it, and that's the problem that I'm trying to say. But how is that fair? Life isn't fair. Life it's isn't not fair. fair. It's not fair. I know that's not fair, but we can make it a little more fair. No, no, no. Can't. Life yeah, isn't yeah, fair can't. because let me yeah, tell you this: it's not fair that you can make a thousand dollars. All feet pictures. But it's not fair. Okay, that's cool. But you're but, that but that but the point is you can. You she could make a thousand dollars off feet pictures, you know. She looked like she got like not even like big feet, but like chunky feet. You ever see those um the, you know what I mean? The, the wide chunky feet with the big toes? That's what it looked like she got, you know what I'm saying? Like the bam bam feet. You know what I mean? Another Flintstones reference. You have a privilege that I don't. It's not fair that you get into cluster free. It's not fair that you're going to get more tips than all the other male waiters that you work with at uh, Komodo. It's not fair that you get attention and validation just based off the way you look. And there's opportunities that come your way that will never come my way. Life isn't fair. So here's the thing. Women don't like it when life is unfair to them, but they love it when it's unfair to them and their advantage. I'm here to tell you, ladies. If you think like you... Can you please let me finish? Girl will never have sex. Can you, can you please let me finish? So anyway, going back to what I was saying. The reality is, life isn't fair, period, between the genders. That's where it starts. It looks like she's ready to get kicked out. You seen that face she just made? It's a ready, I'm ready to get kicked out face. And you saying, this is messed up. This guy had sex with me when there's like 60 different types of contraception. For me as a woman, I have 100% authority over who gets born, but I want you to take some responsibility. That's like me, the, the money analogy. I have a million dollars. I spend it on hookers and booze and all this other shit. Then I come back and yell at you. Why did I spend this money? You, you, you should have been there. Like, this is bullshit. I spent all my money and I blame it on you. But you didn't have any control of the money. So how can I make your responsibility? Hey, listen, stop. Watch this out. Stop. If you want to make a point, it's fine. I'll give you a chance right after this. Chat. So, like I was saying, how is it my fault? I'm sorry. How is it your fault, Morgan, that I spent the million dollars? Can you please tell me how it's your fault? No, go ahead, go ahead. It's not my fault. My girl. <clears throat> Yo, chat, what percent of French She disagreed with me, by the way. Yeah, so you... You never realize really she disagreed with me, right? 95. Because <laughs> it's, not, it's not your fault, right? I spent the money stupidly myself. So how can I come back and blame you? Because you're a man. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to put this in like perspective as like you as being us? Like, yeah, yeah. Us, I, like, I, I, you I have the woman. I have the woman. I have the million dollars. I, I, I got all the leverage. I have the money, but yeah, I'm making you responsible for something that you have no control over. Right. How can you? You cannot have if responsibility. You, ask, can you, stop? you cannot have responsibility. Chat. Hold on, chat. Y'all want her gone? Yeah, but put it on the chat. You want her gone? Tell me what to say. Oh, this is hella one of the You better relax. Bro, you better chill. Yo, the chat. Yo, put that Twitch. Twitch. Here we go. My Twitch niggas, put a one in the chat. If you're yeah. gone, oh. She's already gone. When you when you say it in the chat, she's already gone. You put that option out there, you got to kick her out. The chat is going to be like, hell yeah, we want her gone. They wasn't even thinking about it. The chat was just like dazed off in their own world. You know what I'm saying? But now you've mentioned it. Yeah, kick her ass out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when you're up. So R.I.P. R.I.P. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. There you go. And uh, I'll 
I'll escort her out. Make sure she don't fuck up our shit. Yeah, you gotta do that. Alright. Uh, there we go. You know what happens, man. Everybody okay. goddamn relax. Uh, Yo, pass the train here with the phone. <laughs> She's salty, you know. Every time when somebody leaves like that with an encore, kissing and all that, salty on the inside, for real. For real. Well, we give a chance, but yo, stop. She doesn't understand. She understand. Yeah, yo, chat niggas, yo, yo. Yeah. This is crazy, fellas. Yeah. See, we let her make her point? Nothing. We make her point? All right, cool. What's your rebuttal? It's like, yo, like. What I would say those two is this, it's the disrespect. You get what I'm saying? You know, the the other girl was disagreeing, but respectfully. You get what I'm saying? You could disagree, but respectfully. But like when you disagree disrespectfully, like you making faces and you doing all this stuff and you you doing extra stuff just to prove that your way is right and their way, like it's almost like you feel like you're better than. Then it's gonna come across, and this is not even men, women. This is any type of, of of conversation. You know, if you're talking to your boy and he's looking at you like, "Nah, son, you crazy, man. LeBron is trash compared to you." You know what I'm saying? Like just the disrespect. Oh, you, you know, you got to make a decision whether you want to have him in your life or if you want to walk away. You know what I'm saying? understand at the beginning of your relationship right. about this guy for right. example yeah. of the first day yeah. for example he uh, have 100 dollars yeah. how he lose yeah. for you for your day for your evening for your mood for you right. for example 10 dollars uh-huh. 10 percent mm-hmm. or he lose uh, uh, like 80 yeah. so you have to understand how he will um use his money for your future for your family for your this one's about to get kicked out too, you know what I'm saying? Now she's gonna pick up where the other one left off. You know what I'm saying? Kids sure. for everything, okay? Uh, for example, in five years he will be a millionaire. He will have ten million dollars. But for you, he can use just say one hundred dollars yeah. from this. You, if you're smart, if the girl's smart, you have to understand it in the beginning of your. You know it's funny. Speaking of the Flintstones, now she's dressed like Wilma. Don't she, look, she got the Flintstones joint on right now. She even got the hair. Look, it's Wilma and Betty Flintstone right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Women understand that guys don't say do what they want to do for sex. It's just, you know, we code at what we do. You know what I'm saying? It's a difficult game to win. I mean, like, yeah, but it's. It, it, even if a guy came to her, came with, like, hey, um, my name, you know, so and so, I'm nice, you know, uh-huh. with chivalry. Uh-huh. We're gonna be like, nah, you're too nice. Peace, yeah. peace out. Of course. And then she would give a guy who's, you know, who's like the bad guy a chance. You know what? Why does he like me? Why does he like me? And then when he turns off the condoms, right. then she wonders why he's doing that because right. he's the bad guy. You passed off on a, you, you, you passed off on the nice guy who was showing you nice chivalry. And that's what it is, Morgan. And then the nice, always. the nice okay, guy will always. Damn, leave you and cheat on you too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you facts about that. Yo, the point is, man, is that you pick who fucks, so then you also are responsible for everything that comes from who fucks you. You like, it, it's crazy that women can even think that it's like uh, the man's fault or anything like that. You guys got to take some accountability with that power that you guys have. Yo, you know, guys, my guess, like dating yeah. single mothers, right? Here's the underlying thing that they say. They say, oh, my baby daddy's not shit. He's not worth a damn. Right. Like, this This isn't fair. Right. Then ask question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You say you love your son, right? But yet you wish it this didn't happen. Right. So my question to you is, right? If you know this guy was Debbie, why do you give him a kid? <laughs> it's like, every single time it's like, oh, I love them. So what? He's a deadbeat. This guy has no job. It's a bum. You still give him a kid because you're in love? Come on now. Yeah. Who's off that? It's not right. fair, but you chose what it, what it is. So to me, it's just dumb. I don't know. Be more yeah. careful. Now, chat, man, uh, I'm glad you guys, uh, yeah, man, we interact with the audience, bro. I was, like I said, I've been, yeah. I've been working on my anger. You know what I'm saying? I was, yeah, I was, I was, I was, it was cool. It was yeah. cool. It was cool. Yeah, I've been working on my anger, bro. I can see it if you like no, for real. Nah, he really has. Nah, that's crazy because I've seen this before and he would have kicked her out immediately. As soon as she said, ah, yeah, you're out of here. Boop, 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 boop. chance to give her a point but she couldn't make a point so yeah. but yeah morgan you see my what i was trying to say like hey like 
I'm not saying that it's not bad that men do that to women and they yeah, manipulate them. It's fucked up. Yeah. But you guys got to take some goddamn accountability, bro, because a dude can't fuck you unless you let him. Yep. So, that, you know, if I keep my house unlocked, <laughs> right. right, and I got a bunch of shit in there, and, and then someone breaks in and robs me, am I going to, oh, my God, like, it's it's their fault. No, I'm the it's idiot. Fault. I fucked up. I'm the one that left my place unlocked and they robbed from me. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's on me. It's just that, like I said, I'm going to keep it a stack, man. You guys love the privileges that come, but you guys don't want to deal with the consequences that come with those privileges. And life isn't fair, period. Like, you have way more advantages than we do. You're going to have to deal with some responsibility that comes with those, those advantages. Um, did you have a question for us? My question? Yeah. Yeah, I have one. Did sure, you, go ahead, uh, Did you say you're uh, sorry to my girlfriend, Tao, or no? Who that? It's just my question, that's it. That's the Russian girl? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. She said sorry to us. No, no, you. Did you say sorry to her? No. Absolutely just not. My, I didn't, my question. No, That's so yes I, or no? And I, and no, absolutely not. Yeah, no. And okay. she does not deserve an apology. That was my question. Okay, that's no, that's absolutely it. not. She's not going to get a sorry because she, uh, did, you, did you not see? Um, I just uh, uh, ask you to say yes or no. No, 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 I know that. But yes. you know? See, that's, this is a perfect example of manipulation. She's just asking a question just to say yes or no. But what's the underlying, why, why are you even asking that question? Why is that important? Why even, why even ask that question? Because you want to see what that person will say. You get what I'm saying? You want, it's almost like, why even, why, what's the, why even bring that up? Why, what, you feel like he needs to say sorry. That's why you're asking that question. And why does he need to say sorry? You get what I'm saying? You about to get kicked out. That's all I'm trying to say. Do you not see what was wrong with what she did? What? Do you not see what she did was wrong? Okay, so who was in the wrong? You want to join us? I just want to ask you, yes or no? That's it important for me. No more. No, I don't no. want the... No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking no, you. I don't want to. No, no, no. I don't I'm... want to. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Was she right or wrong? I don't want to answer to you. Okay, then you can get off the show too then. Thank you. Yeah, you get up and get out too. Because if you sign, share that same mindset, then we don't want you on the panel regardless. That's a very stupid question. Yeah. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Yeah, very dumb. All right. You guys are... <laughs> back at the back room again. Just, just going to see her walk out. <laughs> Yo. That's hilarious. People talking in the background while she's leaving. Wait for her, what? Probably. Yo, that's 
That's hilarious, bro. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah, first thing she did, she was like, yo, it's hilarious. I was like, yo, put your shoes and get out. She's like, yeah, they're Dolce Gabbana. I was like, yeah, they're Dolce. You can get the fuck out. Like, get out of here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And video will be on Patreon, guys. Yes, Don't worry. It will be. Yeah, we'll be on Patreon. Bro, I'm trying not to kick these girls out, bro. Yo, I'm, I'm being nice. This is a school this has been a chill. I'd be like, yo, chat, niggas. What I, do y'all want to say, bro? Yeah, I've been woosa on this, bro. So whatever, man. It is what it is. No, nah, that's real. Uh, I watched this podcast before, and he definitely had before. He, this is like the nice version of him. He would have kicked people out early, early, early. But the main thing is just disrespect. You know, just just having just having some respect for somebody, like while they're talking, goes a long way. Just your ability to listen and you know receive information and just to, to understand them is big. If you come across like you're better than or your opinion is better you get what i'm saying it will show like you know what i'm saying like even with like me or anybody else man i if i'm talking to somebody and i'm not listening or i, I feel like their opinion is, doesn't matter and stuff it's gonna come across you know what i'm saying so you know there was definitely in their emotions and they've definitely felt like they was right and uh i agree man i would i would have kicked them kicked them out as well so man, anyway what you guys think i uh, thought it was an interesting vid and thank you guys for tuning in comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys soon one 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 out peace